Okay, so in this video what we're going to introduce is the concept of a closure set. A closure set within a metric space XD. So that's our original setup. You have some metric space, uh, which is a set with a uh, metric function D defined on it. Okay, and then we have some set A, which may or may not be closed, okay? So A uh, isn't necessarily closed, and we want to define A closure. We want to kind of make it closed. And basically, you can construct a closed set called the closure of A from A, by, and it's given this symbol, A bar, A closure, we would read that as. So this is A closure. And the way that you can construct a closed set from any old set A, so this might not necessarily be closed, is to take that set and union on uh, a set containing all limit points of A, all limit points of A, okay? So if you add on all its limit points, uh, then uh, it will uh, make uh, a new set called A closure, and I want to prove to you that that is now a closed set. So firstly, if A is a closed set, uh, then uh, when we union on all its limit points, all its limit points will still all be in, will already be in A because A is already closed, i.e. it contains all its limit points. In the previous video we showed you, uh, we showed that um, that uh, a set which is closed also contains all its limit points. So if A is closed, then all of these limit points will already be in A. So uh, in fact, A closure will just equal A if A is closed. A is closed. But this A closure will be bigger than A, i.e. A will be contained within A closure if um, A is not closed. Uh, because if it's not closed, then it won't contain all its limit points. And so when we union on the set containing all its limit points, we will add in some new points. So let's prove A closure is a closed set. Okay, and we're going to use what we showed in the previous video, which is that uh, if a set is closed, it uh, contains all its limit points. So the way that we are going to prove, and also conversely, that if it contains all its limit points, it is closed. So the way we're going to prove this is by showing that A closure does indeed contain all its limit points. Okay, uh, so um, suppose you uh, have a, uh, a, valid a limit point of this set, A closure, which is not... Uh, which is not in uh, A closure. So, so let's do it by contradiction. So proof by contradiction. Proof by contradiction. Uh, suppose, suppose there exists a point, there exists a Y, which is an element of X, uh, such that Y is not an element of A closure, and Y is a limit point of A closure, is a limit point of a closure. Now, that implies uh, that implies that there exists uh, that well, actually, that that for all little r greater than zero, um, there exists some uh, some shall we say call it little a, which is an element. In fact, I'll call it little uh, no, we'll call it little a. Keep it little a, uh, which is an element of a closure. So there exists some element which is an element of a closure such that a is an element of um, of the uh, ball around this point Y of um, <coughs> sorry about that of uh, radius R. Okay, so this this is just going ba basically back to the definition of limit points. So if we have some point little y and um, it's a limit point for a set A closure, so the some set A bar. Uh, a bar, and basically, whatever ball you take of whatever radius, I will be able to find your point A, uh, which is within that uh, ball. So if I then make this ball smaller, I will be able to find some new point, let's call it A prime, inside that one. Whatever size ball you do, I will always be able to find you a point uh, that's in A bar, um, which is within uh, this ball, uh, within this open ball. Okay, uh, that's the definition of Y being a limit point of A bar. Okay, the first thing I need to tell, uh, show you is that uh, there must exist, there exists uh, some, let's say, R0, which is greater than 0, uh, such that if R is less than R0, the element of A, which is contained within the ball of radius R, is going to be specifically an element, um, how can I say this, A is going to be an element of 
this... Uh, so, okay, let me just... Let, let's go back a second. Let's say A bar is equal to A union L. So let's call this set of all limit points of A, let's call that set L. Whereas, let's call the, the original set we started with is set A. So I want to say that little a is now going to be an element of L rather than A. So what I'm saying, basically, is that if Y is a limit point of the set A closure, then, uh, then if um, there must exist a point, uh, and there must exist a radius, where if you go that small, and if you go beyond it, so let's say this is the Y and this is the R0, the points that are within your balls, they must come from the L bit of A closure rather than A. And the reason is that if if uh, if these ele if these little A's, which were elements of these balls of radius R around your point Y, were, were coming from the um, A set, the, com the A component of this A closure, then uh, that would imply that Y was a limit point of was a limit point of A, uh, and that would imply that Y would be an element of L, which would mean that Y was an element of A closure, because remember, L is all the limit points of this set A. So, if I, if I can always find, no matter if it were the case, if it were the case, were the case uh, that uh, for all little r greater than zero, I can find you, uh, there exists, I should write, there exists an a, a little a, which is an element specifically of a, rather than a bar, uh, such that a is an element of the ball around y of radius r, then, uh, then um, y would be a limit point of a, and y would be an element of this set l, which is the set we're unioning on, sorry, it's gone out of vision, Okay, uh, Y would be an element of uh, this set of limit points of A, which is what we're unioning union, union, union on, uh, which would imply that Y was an element of A closure, i.e. it would contradict uh, the assumption that Y was not in the set A closure. Okay, so this implies that at some point, implies that for some R0, which is greater than 0, uh, uh, and for all little r less than or equal to r0, I should have put there, less than or equal to little r0, uh, there can exist, there does not exist, uh, there does not exist uh, a point A, which is an element of just A, such that A is an element of the ball Y, of uh, the open ball centred around Y of radius R. So instead, uh, if Y, so if y is a limit point of a closure of a closure it implies that these points that are still within uh, this ball uh, must have come from the set l so the points uh, let's say uh, little a bar and i should have used little a bar the points little a bar which are an element of these balls of uh, around y of radius r uh, those uh, will be th those little a bars will be elements of L, i.e. they will be part of the set which you unioned on to A to make a closure. So all I now need to prove is that if Y is a limit point of uh, of the elements of the set L, then uh, then it's necessary uh, that it will also be a limit point of the set A. And the way I'm going to prove that is simply because uh, if uh, if y is a limit point of L, which it will be, because I've said here that uh, the um, points which you are finding within these balls of radius R are going to have come from the set L rather than the set A, because if they've come from the set A, then it would just imply that that point y was an element of L anyway, so it would have been an A closure. Uh, so if y is a limit point of the set L, then it implies that for all... Uh, for all uh, little r greater than zero, there exists a little l is an element of big L, uh, such that um, little l is an element of the ball around y of radius r. Okay, well, 
Uh, now, what I want to prove to you is that I can find you, uh, whatever epsilon you give me, I can find you a point of A within that ball. And the way I'm going to do that is quite simply, quite simple. 